Hello everybody, Crypto Caesar. It's the 24th of September 2022. And I want to talk to you today about the uh, four-year cycle for Bitcoin. This is something I've been interested in now for a significant period of time, a number of years. And I know a lot of people in my group um, understand this very well as well, because this is something that we look at and we discuss quite a lot. Uh, for those of you who are watching now um, or listening now that uh, don't really know or understand much about the four-year cycle, that's what this video is going to be about. Um, and it's a very interesting um, concept and theory around Bitcoin, given that Bitcoin is an extremely cyclical asset. And what's true uh, when looking at the four-year cycle is that ever since uh, the first Bitcoin uh, halving uh, took place, if you measure each peak uh, to the next peak, or indeed each bottom or trough to the next bottom or trough, it's pretty much four years. So the first Bitcoin top out of the first cycle uh, was around about um, November, December 2013. Now, if you measure from there uh, to the next peak out of the second site that at the second halving into the next cycle to uh, around about the December 2017 point it was exactly 208 bars 208 bars is 208 weeks and 208 weeks is four years measuring from the first cycle bottom in January of 2015 to the next cycle the second cycle bottom December 2018 was 205 bars so just a few weeks shy of uh, four years. And again, um, from the peak of uh, December 2017 uh, to the peak that we had uh, back in uh, right at the end of October, November uh, 2021, this last cycle was 205 bars. So just shy again, a few weeks shy of four years. So basically four years. So if this, um, cycle the four-year cycle um, theory remains true to form um, technically given that we had a bottom in december 2018 we should be seeing a bottom around the 204 uh, 205 rather 208 bar uh, or the four-year cycle mark around about either the 7th of november or um the um about i think it's about the 10th or the yeah it's, it's the, the 5th of december uh so i mean i don't want to give specific dates because i just think that's ridiculous anyone giving you specific dates i mean you know i'm not a tarot reader um, or a fortune teller uh, but what i work on is probabilities and looking at the history and the cyclical nature of bitcoin i think it's highly probable that there will be we will continue to have these four year cycles until Bitcoin becomes such a large asset that the market cap doesn't allow that cycle to continue. Um, or an event happens that completely kills Bitcoin and therefore the four year cycle can't continue. But for now, I, for me, the four year cycle will continue. And I don't want to give a specific date, but I think that the best thing that one can do is look at it as a window of opportunity and, and give that window quite a bit of leeway. And for me, that window is essentially Q4. 2022 so come the 1st of October through to the end of December that three month period I think will be the window I like to call it the window of opportunity will be the window where uh, Bitcoin will have this um, ability to, to find its final low um, and then go essentially sideways um, for a, a, quite a significant period of time. Um, into uh, the next um, cycle so uh, essentially what what's interesting about bitcoin at the moment is that it, it, it it's really trying to hold on to this support this kind of area or the we'll call it support but this area of around about 1920k it's really holding on to that you know it is on it, it's like it's hanging off a cliff there is this real possibility that it could just break down to the downside um and uh you know it could go as low as 10 12k i don't think it's going to go that low it could go to 14k but there is this real risk or there's this other possibility where it might just go sideways and i don't know what's going to happen i don't know whether it's going to go sideways i don't know whether it's going to go down i don't know whether it's going to suddenly break parabolic to the upside but what i do know is that this four year cycle low area is coming in the window's opening which to me says that you know that the downside is going to be limited now then, but <clears throat> there may well be some more downside, but it's going to be uh, limited. Okay, we're gonna come back in a moment and talk about, continue to talk about the four year cycle, but here's a quick advert from Prime XBT in exchange I use uh, all the time. 
Welcome to Prime XBT, the most powerful trading platform, offering immediate access to more than 30 assets, trade cryptocurrencies, forex, stock indices, and much more. Okay, guys, so I'm um, just quickly on the Prime XBT. It's really, really simple. The rules are simple. Essentially, you just use the link in the description below. Okay, click that link. Then you open a new account with Prime XBT. Then you use the promo code Caesar. Simply just write the name Caesar into the promo code. And then once you've done that, then you deposit your uh, your uh, crypto or your stable coin, and you will then get seven percent on that deposit. So if you were to deposit, for argument's sake, hundred k, you would get seven k given to you for free um, on that deposit. So it's a really good um, uh, offer. Um, and it's an exchange I use uh, quite a lot of time for leverage trading, so it's worth checking it out. So just use the link in the description, use the promo code, then make the deposit, and then you get the benefit of the 7%. Right, back to uh, the uh, four-year cycle. So what's interesting is this, this, this sort of structure, it looks like it could be an accumulation structure. It's very similar to this sort of structure, and it's kind of similar to this structure, okay? The accumulation structure, or the accumulation period back in uh, the after the first halving was a considerable amount of time. From, from memory, I think it was about 40 weeks or so. Yeah, 40 bars, so 40 weeks. It's almost an entire year of going sideways and accumulating in a range. This was the, the next accumulation period was significantly shorter, and I think it was about 19 weeks off the top of my head. Yeah, okay, 18 weeks, 18 bars, so a significantly shorter period. Now, who knows whether this is going to be shorter or longer, but essentially this structure looks very similar to the last structures. There's this big sell off like there was here, like there was there. OK, and now it's just it's bouncing in this range and this could be an accumulation range. OK, so it might not break lower or if it does break lower, that lower break might not be as deep as everybody thinks, but this could well be an accumulation structure which might go on now for a few more months. Uh, and then Bitcoin may well just break to the upside. As I say, the four-year cycle could come early, it could come late, but essentially it does look like it potentially could be this kind of you know, accumulation phase where Bitcoin goes sideways and then it makes a break to the upside. For me, a uh, real confirmation of the bottom being in will be essentially a break of around about the, 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 the 29K, 28, 29K mark. Once Bitcoin can break above that um, headwind uh, resistance, trade above it, I think there's a really good chance that it could then uh, attack 50K. When will that happen? Not sure. Uh, gun to head. Um, if Bitcoin can um, essentially uh, find its low within the four year cycle, I think there's a very good chance that it could attack that 50K by this time next year. So summer next year. Um, Bitcoin could be looking at doing uh, something like this, okay, then rejecting off the 50k, coming back uh, to about the 29k mark, finding decent support there and going pretty much sideways into the next halving. I can't really see uh, an all time high uh, this year or next year, I think it's more likely going to be in sort of 2024, 2025. Uh, but I think we could have a really good stab next year at the 50K. Interestingly enough, if you look at the structure from uh, 2018, 19, that was a very similar structure where Bitcoin sold off. There was this period of accumulation. It then broke out to the upside. Once it broke that important area of resistance at um, 6K, which is similar to the 29K resistance now. It then had a really decent rally up to 14K, 14.3, I think it was. 14.3 was a really high price for Bitcoin then, because you've got to remember the all-time high was, you know, 19, 249 or 20K, depending on which exchange you looked at. But that was a really decent rally. And that's why I think that if, if Bitcoin follows this similar kind of structure, uh, which it looks like it might be, then, you know, going to 50K come, you know, June, July next year it, it is, you know, I think that's very doable. Uh, so, you know, the move's going to come up to 20, 28K, probably reject off it, break through it, come back, test, test support, then up, up, up it goes. But let's just see what happens. You know, this is a long process. For me at the moment, I'm just interested in accumulating Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
Um, I haven't taken an Ethereum position as yet, but I will hopefully be um, as um, we move on into the weeks and months ahead. I hope to be fully allocated by the end of Q4, depending on whether we get this deeper uh, move to the downside. But I'm 50% Bitcoin at the moment, 50% cash. I've been accumulating all my Bitcoins basically sub 20K. Most of the positions were taken, taken around the sort of... Um, sub 19k mark so e either way for me i'm happy if bitcoin has found its low here okay and that's it and you know we just move sideways now into the four-year cycle low that I, I can live with that because i will continue to accumulate um, below 19k um, if bitcoin goes deeper down to the 14k 10k 11k 12k mark that's fine i will continue to accumulate down there but if it decides not to do that um, and it just wants to go break to the upside then I'm okay with that as well, because I will just then enter positions when I'm sure and comfortable that that, that bottom is in, okay? Um, so either way, uh, I'm prepared for whichever, you know, move Bitcoin wants to make, whether it's to the upside uh, or to the downside. Anyway, so let's see what happens. Um, the 1st of October is looming. Uh, it's a week away. It's going to be a very interesting next three months to see what happens. Um, I will be here, I will be on YouTube, I will be in my group, I will be on my Twitter, come join me. Um, if you want to join the group, the link again is in the description. Uh, equally, check out our website www.cryptocaesarcapital.com uh, and indeed if you want to enjoy uh, that promotion with Prime XPT, again link, link in the description um, and just use the promo code. Okay, have a good weekend, love and respect you all and speak soon. Bye-bye.